<laughs> oh, dis Discord strains. Oh. Well. Did you know that as a result of the coronavirus, Discord has increased the number of people that can actively watch Discord streams to 50 from 10? Have you heard this? Because that is something that I saw the other day. It's like, Discord has increased it to 50 from 10. So yeah, that's that's nice. That's nice. We could have all of our folks watching me now in a Discord stream. <laughs> Oddly enough. Uh, this is actually better if I do this on the other side. Ta-da! Huh. <laughs> really? So they they said that f Pi is too tedious. Well, uh, t tedium is boring. This is not as much tedium. I mean, yes, there is... Alien life does add a significant amount of the stuff known as tedium into the pie suite, but overall, uh, complexity is not tedium. <laughs> right? Like, complexity itself is not, is not tedium. I consider a lot of aspects of, like, AAI going in at, with space exploration to be tedium just repetitive like rep just rep repetitive that's that's the word that is the word rep repetitive stuff in that there's always something to do in the pie suite there's there's almost always something to do in the pie suite uh, I also need to make sure that I define nickel plate Yes, those those glorious glorious nickel plates from our nickel temp nickel depot one. Yeah, there you go. Um, this needs to just hold one stack. Nickel station temp to nickel depot. When you are full, circuit condition, do your thing. Oh, I haven't set the, uh, you there. I can't click at a distance. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's there are aspects of every single overhaul mod that are tedious. Like, it, that ju it just happens. There's aspects of Vanilla Factorio that are tedious. Just, you know, that's, that's just part of the Factorio experience. There will always be some degree of tedium. Now, there is an argument... That can be made by large streamers against Factorio in that it does take a long time to complete a playthrough of the uh, of the Pi Suite. And you may you may know this by now, but most people who are streaming will experience the largest view counts at the very start of a series so the more the shorter the series is the more often they're going to get more people watching
So there's there's really a uh, temptation to have more shorter series than fewer longer series. Okay, so that is literally going to be all the things at this point. Nickel and nickel. Bring me that train and we will have our nickel! Our glorious and beautiful nickel has arrived. Okay. You. You there. Um, I'm thinking that all of this shenaniganry, like, all these belts are going to be completely reversed. Except for Ferrochrome, obviously. Uh, this right here, this is the nickel belt. So let's bring that all the way up. This is our nickel belt. Congratulations. I don't even need you to go that far. Alright, so that's nickel. Next is... There's six more things. <laughs> there's six more. Well, there's there's five more, but... One of which is going to be its own separate thing. Uh... Wait, why, why are the rest... Huh. I was wrong on something. Don't know what. Don't remember what. Uh, so I guess Ancient Remains will get their own belt. Yeah, the Ancient Remains will get their own belt, and it'll be that one. Just for the Ancient Remains. The Phosphate Rocks will get that one. Uh, and then it's two shared belts on the far sides. Uh, copper, sulfur, neo, cobalt. All right. Copper, sulfur, neo, cobalt. The phosphate ore comes from ancient remains. It That's... Actual craft time has some issues. Just for reference, it's it still has a few issues. There's the rocks. <laughs> it always has. Yeah, sort of. Sort of always has. Uh, the Aramid, right. The Aramid was going to share... The Aramid was going to share this lane. Was going to share this lane. Well, about that. Uh, slight problem with that. Uh... Oh, uh, but yeah, ph phosphates do come from ancient remains. Like, that's the, uh, that's the thing that we're mining to get them. This is dumb, but it works, so we're doing it. This will be one of the shared lines. Hey, got hey, guess what? Once we once we're once we're through with all of this, we'll have uh we'll have a glorious number. We'll have a number. We'll have a number of stainless steel. And I then need to get that to a station. 
That will be uh, wonderful. Yes, we will have the ability to get red belts. Once, once we have stainless steel, we will be able to make advanced small parts, and we will be able to get red belts. <laughs> Technically speaking, the moment we get advanced small parts with sta with stainless steel, we can have red bar red belts. It's uh, yeah, advanced. Small parts. Uh, of course, we do need that nylon. That's like the only thing here, but we're going to be making nylon anyway. The next thing that we're going to work on is optical fiber, and that'll be nylon. So, hey, there we go. Uh, yeah. And then we'll we'll have the ability to make red belts. I don't think I'm going to actually make the red belts per se quite yet. That's that's gonna go in and that's gonna be fine. Alright, what's uh, this line gonna be? This line's gonna be shared something. Shared something or other. Uh, I guess Neo Sulfur. Bip, bip, bip. Wrong. There's that line. And then last up on this line. All the way over here. I just, I should be copying and pasting. <laughs> okay, now we wait. Now all, all we need to do now is just finish this off. And down we go. Reverse this belt. Here comes the stuff and things. And then that will get the molten stainless and then it'll it'll be it'll be time. It'll it'll be it'll be time for the for the thing. The words. Oh, I don't have any more of those. Who knows? Well, I guess I have to put this then. I guess we're going to have a warehouse. Of the thingies. Ah, so then I have to get it all the way over here. Because, because I have already prepared ahead of time for this moment. I have, I have prepared ahead of time for this very moment. Yeah. Well ahead of time. We've got non-zero amounts of the stainless steel. The stainless is flowing. The stainless 
steel shall flow. Non-zero amounts of stainless steel. We've made the wonderful and beautiful. We we we've we did we've done the thing. That's that off the list. Uh, optical fiber is next on the list. Just you know. Milestone down. That's that's that milestone. Yeah, next up super steel eventually. Uh super steel will come at some point, just not right now. Now I need to get this belt all the way across. <laughs> all the way across. Yes, celebrations. All of the celebrations. Uh, so yeah, I need this here. You know, this... This line... Right here. Just, you know, casually. This... This little line. Whoops. Yes, Belt Getty. The Belt Getty shall commence. Uh, also, you need to be like two at most uh, on your thingy. Yes, the Belt Getty. Lots and lots of Belt Getty. Okay. Lack of red belts will make this a little bit more annoying. Oh, hey, a, thi <laughs> hey, a thing got placed just now. Uh, so my thought is that I will bring this. I'm out of belt. <laughs> oh, noes. Oh, what have I done? I have... I have no more belt. Wasn't I requesting 2,000 units of belt at a time? <laughs> Don't you... Do you remember when I set myself to request 2,000 units of belt at a time? Uh, of course you don't have any belt in you. Shake, shake, shake! Head on back! Uh, for reference, uh, Crawdad does not win versus Rock. Just... By the by... Yeah, that evaporates nearly instantaneously. Off we go, back to the bus. Bring me stuff. Bring me just the 1,000 units this time, that's all I really need. They're gonna, they're gonna keep bringing me 2,000. Yeah, they they brought me, they brought me plenty. Back we go, cause that's all we really need. La di di da, shake shake shake, shake that tail. <laughs> and we have arrived. Get out of the vehicle. Of course, that's going to happen. Yes, I could totally extend this up and not have to do the thing. But that would be... That would be logical. This one are we logical.
done. Uh, the creature uses food. It uses uh, meat as its most basic of uh, food source. So it is the same as the Dingridio in that it uses fish of <laughs> up to Mark IV. Don't know why. But uh, yeah, it uses fish, meat, or food. And it's, I guess, supposed to be Dingrit food. Yes, it's uh it's the Dingrit's food. Uh for fuel. So stuffs, things, meat. It runs on meat. <laughs> ah, it's moving. It's moving. It exists. It exists. I can't believe we did this. Fin finished! It took three hours, but we finally finished the stainless steel from, you know, just this point. Last time, last stream, we got to this point on Unslimed Iron. This stream, we did this! <laughs> hmm... Glorious, yes. We, we, it's, it's, it's a, it's, it's glorious. The, the majestic crawdad, and the glorious stainless steel. The absolutely glorious stainless steel. Here it comes. Here it comes. It is in train. It has entered the train. The train needs fuel. Because of course it does. Fuel, which I don't have near me. But I am near these trains. These trains have fuel. Yeah, these 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 locomotives have fuel. Have some fuel. You there. Stainless Stainless supply to stainless depot. Stainless stainless? Stainless Depot. Stainless Steel Depot. Until you are full. And until circuit condition. And then do your thing. Do the glorious thing. And... It's off. To sit here. We did it. Now we have to request it at the mall. <laughs> now we need it at the mall. So that we can continue with our progression. Oh, thank you so much for the follow. So very much. Oh boy. Okay. That's that is that taken care of. Let's let's shake our way. Let's shake, shake our way. I mean, it, it only looks this comical because we're running at 2x game speed. <laughs> uh, like, it, it only, it, it, it only looks... Alright. Here, have a box. <laughs> okay, we have arrived. At our mall. Welcome to the mall. Look into rat rendering. Uh oh. Well, what? First, first, tell me because I haven't done the update. What? What do the cotton gut? Ba what's the cotton gut basic recipe? What's what's like the basic recipe? On uh, on cotton gut, so that I know. You there? Hi. I need 
all of you. Elysia, Wood, and Moondrop. What to... Huh? Oh, just... Just do the thing. Just go. Okay, you... Are all... Stainless... And you will, of course, bring in the glorious stainless steel. It's coming. The train is on its way. It will be here shortly. Here, here it comes. Here it comes. It's gone through. It's gone woo, all the way down and up. And here it is. The Stainless has entered the mall. We now have Stainless for the mall. Cue Alleluia Chorus. <laughs> Cue the Alleluia Chorus. We have Stainless at the mall. Mm. But, uh, still we have work to do. Uh, Nylon. Uh, so this recipe is a thing. Am I doing the benzene anywhere? Am I doing the benzene anywhere? I mean, the, the, the bone meal is a thing, but so is this. Because it's at the mall. I mean, cause it's cause it's at the mall. This is this is all the main bus stuff. The like leftovers of the main bus. It's all getting replaced. It's all getting replaced by the the stuff the stuff here. And then they then they then they fly into this mess. They'll, they they fly stuff to to this this stuff. It's like what you want me to make you want me to make another another bus so that I can have a line of requester chests like here just like bring things over this has higher throughput this this will have higher throughput in the end uh just because of the amount of uh bots I can throw at it I would need more spacing in order to have more belts uh this if I did it that way, if I had to belt it out, I have four, well, I have eight, eight yellow belts worth of throughput here, right? I've got eight yellow belts of throughput here on each of these to, to go into these chests. I can't get eight belts physically out to the side to bring them physically closer on everything so that's just why and we don't, yeah we just also don't necessarily need that efficiency in the long term uh so i need a mixer but it, it's all right so here's the thing uh it's two minutes after the hour and it is it is time to end the stream it is it is it is it is time to end the stream uh, I will look at the the rendering of the cotton gut, the uh, rendering of the majestic cotton gut, aka lard, aka lard. One point five x, so one to two. Ignore ignore this. Uh, five into one to two. So it ends up being better than Mukmo, apparently. According to Immortal Sniper, uh, this ends up being better than Mukmo on Lard. Uh, in terms of size. Uh, 
just in terms of the sheer, like, physical space of the build, this apparently ends up better than Mukmo, but... Hmm. We shall see. We shall see overall, but hey, that's... That's a thing. That you can lard... You can lard the rats. The rats can be larded, uh, and I really should go to full rendering, figure something out to do with the, uh, bones. But then I have to have voiding setups for everything if there's a overflow of any one thing. So how's the, how's the cotton gut over here moving still? We've got, we've got studs. We've got... A few studs, a few studs have been made over the course of this stream for the for the cotton guts. So the options going forward, we could mess around with cotton gut next time, or we could actually start moving on and start working towards uh, the optical fiber. I'm going to say that we will start working towards the optical fiber. <laughs> I'm going to start working towards the optical fiber. Uh, I'm just trying to think that that means etching solution as well. So PCB2 and all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, or that's for the neuroprocessors. But yeah, optical fiber will, will, will be a thing. So with that, what did, what did we get done today? Stainless steel on the network. That's what, that's what we did. We we totally we totally did did the did the thing. We got we got nickel on our on our train network. We've we got the nickel on the train network of the nickel that exists. We've got molten chromium. We made molten chromium today. Uh we've got ferrochromium alloy, which I have to remember I need to actually get this also on a new station set up and have like a thing for the ferrochrome that would be ideal i think to have one of those uh from here uh and then built out this station up here this this station right up right up here and got all of the all of the stuff requested for the beautiful stainless steel and we now have a plenty of the stainless steel with that, I would like to thank you all for watching. This has been Otaku Showboat. If you are watching the VOD on YouTube and have been enjoying the series thus far, do not forget to comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and if you are so inclined, head on over to twitch.tv slash Otaku Showboat. Leave a follow to be notified when I go live Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays from 10 a.m. to approximately 1 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. You can do all of the social stuff through the links below the video, including supporting Pyandon's monster development at patreon.com slash Pyandon and myself at patreon.com slash otaku showboat. I will, of course, be back on a Tuesday at our usual time to begin our work towards optical fiber. I will, of course, see you all then.